Welcome to the Iron Horse Hobbies Print Shop for our Tinkercad series. Join us as we explore the ins and outs of this powerful software. We'll be starting with simple projects like the Switchman Shanty, where I'll be showing you all the bells and whistles and how to use all the tools, working our way up in complexity to something advanced like a trust through bridge. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced user, we're going to have something in this playlist for everyone. Welcome to the Iron Horse Root, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. Hey there, and welcome. We're glad to have you here with us for our video today on how we construct the Switchman Shanty using Tinkercad. This is a beginner level video. If you are a very beginner, if you've never used Tinkercad at all, I'm going to do something a little unusual. I'm going to put a card in the top right corner right here right now. And what that card is for is that card's going to show you the video before this one in the playlist. It's going to give you the playlist link and it's going to show where you can watch in sequence, all right? And so the first video uh, in the playlist is going to show you uh, how to use the tools and tricks tricks, tips, techniques, and all that stuff that gets you ready to come here and build this video. This video is a repeat of a live stream that we've already done showing you how to build the Switchman Shanty. The reason for that is that live stream uploaded in SD and we want the whole playlist to be in HD so we're going to redo them all in long form and uh, so they come out in HD format so when you watch the replay you can see them that way. So today we're going to build the Switchman Shanty, all right? And um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, I've got the, a copy of the model right here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to move this over to the left. I'm going to select it all and I'm going to move it over here. Um, it's good to keep that there for reference because it's hard for me to remember my dimensions and everything. I do actually have a model, excuse me. <clears throat> and I know I'm in pick and pick, but I do have a copy of this model printed in HO scale. And at the end of this uh, video, you'll be able to have your own copy ready to print. At the end, I'll also show you how to rescale it in your scale if you're not an HO scale modeler. I'm an N scale modeler myself, but I'm doing this one in HO scale. Um, it's bigger, it's easier to see. All right, what we're going to be doing... Um, we're going to use this octagon, or our polygon, excuse me. We're going to use the polygon um, for the base, the body, and the roof. Then we're going to use the diamond at the very bottom for the top part of the roof. Uh, we'll use the cylinder for this and this. All right, so we're going to grab a polygon and bring it in here. And the first thing I want to do is spin it 90 degrees. So I've got a flat face in front I'm looking at from my front door. <clears throat> Next, I want you to click on this guy and we're going to duplicate it. And since we haven't expanded it yet, we're going to just subtract one all the way around. When we click here, we're going to go 16.32 enter. I click the right black one. It's at 20. I'm going to change it to 19. I click the top middle black one and I'm going to change it to 15.32 and hit enter then I check click the left middle black one and I'm going to change it from 19 to 18. Now I'm going to come here and I'm going to change it to a hole. I will come here and I will raise the model. I will drop the model. Select the whole thing and click group. There we go. All right. Now, if we come over here and click the body, I know I want it 45 by 40 with this orientation. So I click here, here, and I'm going to go 45 and 40. Let's go back over here. Let's verify. 45 
and 40. 45 and 40. All right. Our height on this guy is this guy on the bottom. Yeah. And the height is 30. And it is on the bottom, right? Yes. Undo. Undo. Alright. Here, click the top middle uh, white one, and we're going to change it to 30. Alright. Now, I want to grab another polygon. Come over here. Let's click this one, and we'll make it 10 for reference. So we know that's what that is. And now we're doing this one, so let's click here, and we want it 4. And the dimensions are 50 by 45 by 4. So we'll click here, click here, we'll change it to brown. I know we want it 4. And we want it, let's get our orientation correct. I'm going to undo that, put it back like it was, if I go 90, I'm right. Now here and here, and we're going to go 50, enter, and 45, enter. All right, now I'm going to click the base. I'm going to hold shift and click the body of the model. And then I'm going to click the align button. I want to go center and center. There we go. <clears throat> now I'm going to click the base and I'm going to click duplicate. And I'm going to raise the base till it says 30. I'm going to click the new roof now here and click black let's scroll around we're going to come over to our shapes scroll all the way to the bottom and let's get this diamond all right now i want to change the color of the diamond to black if i'm not mistaken i did the diamond the same size as the body so 45 by 40, let's click the diamond here, and we're going to go 45 by 40. All right, there you go. Next, scroll back up, we're going to grab the transparent box. All right, let's just expand the box to bigger. Then the diamond is all we want to make sure that we do. We want to totally cover the diamond. And then let's scroll in, and we're going to change our height to match where the diamond begins to bevel down, I guess is what I'm looking for. You just want to get this flat. You want to get it where it's flat right here. You shouldn't have to change your snap grid. I didn't. And then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click the diamond. And now we'll do this. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I know that um, this is 4 tall and it's at 30. So I'm going to bring this up to 33. So I know it's in there. Uh, let's go ahead and go to 34. It looks better there. It should be fine, too. And because we didn't spin it, it's going to be offset like this, which I like. I'm going to hold Shift and then click the diamond and the roof piece and group them. So now we have a roof. All right, we're going to do the top little um, exhaust cylinder. Uh, whatever that is <laughs> um, and so let's change it to silver 
and let's click here and let's go four click here and go four yeah that's fine and we'll make this ten all right I want you to click it I want you to duplicate it I want you to raise this up to seven squinch this down to five scroll in click your corner and we're gonna make it six by six all right now we're gonna click it hold shift click the bottom we're gonna click the align button we're gonna center and center Let's click here and here. I didn't click all the alignment, I guess. Here, center, center. That makes us good. Let's click over it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. And group it. Now we'll just bring it up somewhere you like on the roof. The actual place isn't hugely important. Let's hold shift and click the roof piece. So we're going to group it together. Now, if we'll click the solid button and come down here and click multicolor, it's going to put us back like that. Okay, but see now we've got our roof pieces all one. Okay, we've got a hollow interior. We've got a base piece. All right, what we need to do now is we've got to come in and do our windows. We need to cut out our windows, and we need to cut out <clears throat> our door opening, okay? We're also going to cut out little small recessions for the window frames and the door to fit in. This way, if you wanted to do these separately, you can, uh, and that way they're different colors. If you could print, you could print them in different colors, right? So basically, you could print the roof separately in one color. You could print the uh, base separately in one color if you wanted to you could do the whole body by itself and then you could print you could lay the doors and frames down and print them in the same color as the base and then put this all together and you wouldn't even have to paint it all right so let's roll down here like this okay so now what i want to do is i want you to get a transparent box and we're going to make this transparent box 10 by 10. 10. That, that was the wrong 10, but it doesn't matter. 10. And then we're going to click here and go 10. This is important. All right. So now I want to just make this a little bit longer. All right. Now, because <clears throat> this is a polygon, this is not at a perfect snap angle for us. So what we're going to do is let's bring it here and get it up to a height that seems good. I'm going to say uh, yeah 15 or 16 in height I would say. Is that where we're at? Yeah I would say 15 maybe 16 in height. That's up to you. Now, I want you to come over here and let's snap it to 22.5. And as you can see, we're still not straight. So I'm going to come over here and, and let's go ahead and uh, let's undo, undo, undo. All right, back to straight. I just wanted to give you the exact. We're going to go... Um, Let's go 30. Looks good. Here. And let's put that somewhere in the middle where we like it. And now before we group this out, I want you to click duplicate. I want you to hit the left arrow on your keyboard. Move this over here. 
I want you to click the mirror button, and then I want you to click the right side and look at there. Uh, all right, let's put that in there somewhere sensible. And if we want to, let's pick this up and make sure we're not going to do any damage inside. We're not. We got it right. Okay? So let's do this. We'll make this all one group. That way, if we ever have to ungroup, it'll be easier. So we're going to click that. We're going to hold shift, click this. And then we're going to hold, keep holding shift down and click this. And now it should say three, and we'll click group. Now we have our windows 10 by 10. All right. Bring me another one in here, please. This one is going to say, um, we want to click up here and let's say five. And then let's click here and let's say five. All right. And now let's bring this in here and let's raise this up. Those windows look a little tall, don't they? Let's get this guy over here. So if he's up at, on the base, no, we're good, all right, so let's put him over here, so we'll undo that, and go to 20, <clears throat> all right, before we group, I want you to click that, I want you to hold shift and click the body, and we're going to align this one in, on the center, just make sure we're dead center. Then click this, hold shift, click this, and there you go. All right, now, let's click our door over here and see what size we got. Wow. 10.5 by 22.75. Okay. I don't know why I did that. All right. Let's bring a... I do know why I did that. Let's bring this over here. And we're going to go here. Here. This needs to be 11. And this needs to be 23. All right, now, we're going to bring this here. I want you to bring this up to four. All right. I want you to back this up. I want to bring this here one more time and verify. It's a little high is what I was thinking. So we're going to click this, and we're going to click ungroup. We're going to click this, and I want to drop this down to 18. Yeah, better. All right. Hold shift, click this, hold shift, and click group. All right, now let's bring our piece back here. That looks better. All right. I want you to... First and foremost, let's uh, ho click this, hold shift, click this, let's align it, let's make sure we're centered. Okay, then I want you to come over here, change your snap grid to 0.5. And we're going to click this piece, and I'm going to get a good view here. I'm going to hit the back arrow till it comes out. I'm going to hit the, the front arrow now till it touches one time, and then I'm going to hit it one more time in. Now I know I'm a half a millimeter in there, and I'm centered. I hold shift, I click the body, and boom. Now we have a cutout for our door, you see. All right, let's cut the window recessions out now. And so what we're going to do first is I want to make sure that this thing is... Uh, straight which and I want it to be straight so I can see it so I'm going to select the whole thing and then I'm going to use the arrows to move it up to the line to one of the lines so you do the same all right this way I know 
I have a reference. Now we're going to select it again. If I'm not mistaken, we're going to swing this thing. Uh-oh. We're going to swing this thing 61. And stop it. That's straight, which is an odd angle, but that's what works. Now, we know that we cut this out at 10 by 10, so we're going to make this 11 by 11. 11. Click the top. Click here by 11. Enter. Now, let's bring this here and use our arrows. We'll scroll in. Get it as even as we can. Probably come up one more time. It's like I'm at 1550, and it should. If you're if you're not going up at 0.5s or 0.25s, change your snap grid. Come over here, and then we're going to use the arrows. I'm going to back the arrows up till I don't see the shadow. All right. Then I'm going to pop it in until I do. And then I'm going to hit it in one more time. I'm going to hold shift on. The, all right, before that, let's click the box. Let's duplicate it for the next one and back it up. All right. Click here. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to click here. And I'm going to click group. See, now you got a little cutout to hold your window frame. All right, now I'm going to select the high, the shanty, and I'm going to move it back to the right, 61, because I want it back where it was. Stop. Now, come back, check. You should be straight again. We're going to select the whole model again. And we're going to go to the right. How much? You guessed it. 61. You can click in there and type too if you want to. It's a whole lot easier. I'm going to do that because I went to 62. Didn't mean to. I don't want to fight with it to get it back. All right. Now, I'm going to click here and use my front arrow. It's not going to be perfect. Because we really probably needed to go 61.5 is what it looks like. But I'm going to move this over till I get it to a sensible place. I'm going to use my back arrow till I'm out of the shadows. I'm going to hit in till I touch the shadows. And then I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and click the body of the model. And then I'm going to click group. And yes, I have another recession. All right, now let's bring in a rectangle here while we got this turned right. And we're going to change this to brown. All right, we are going to flatten this to one. We are going to make this 10.5, enter, by 10.5, enter. Now we're going to roll in here. All right, your window frame is 10.5, 10.5 now, right? So we want to click it and we want to duplicate it. So there's two of them there. Let's go ahead and change it to a hole. And let's click the bottom. We're going to subtract one from each. So we click 10.5. We're going to go 9.5. Enter. Click the right one. Going uh, counterclockwise. 10.5. We're going to change it to 9.5. Now click the top middle one. 9.5 is going to have to change to 8.5. Because I'm real good at math. And then over here on the left one, we click that. 9.5 is going to change to what? 8.5. You guessed it. 
All right, now let's click here. Now we want to make sure we select that one. And I'm just going to pick it up, and it really doesn't matter how much. And then I'm going to drop it down, and it really doesn't matter how much, as long as it's sticking out of the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to select the whole thing, and I'm going to group it. Ah, and now i got a window frame. Now, I'm going to spin this 90 degrees. That should be straight and flat. Click here. I'm going to pick this guy up. I'm going to get it in the right place. Ah, look how nice. All right, it's sticking out a little. Yeah, okay. Then I'll duplicate it and back this guy up. Get him out of the way. Roll back. Select here. I need to come back to the right. 61. Stop. Oop. 62, let's go 61, enter. I didn't want to do that real hard math and do it twice. Now, while we got, now nah, let's go ahead and put the other one on. Click here, and let's go 61 more. Enter. We should be looking at that window now. And I don't think we have perfection, but it's close. I'm going to use the arrow to roll this in. Should be the right height. Yeah, we just off a tad. Let's go there and there. All right, now we'll back up. Let's come here. We're going to go 61. That's negative 61 to get our door back to the middle. All right, let's bring in our last rectangle of the day. Let's change it to brown. I'm going to make the width of this here 1.5. Don't want it too small in Z scale. And if we come over here, I want to say this was 10.5 by 22.75. So I'm going to click here and here and go 10.5. Enter, and I'm going to click here, and I'm going to go 22, whoop, back up, 22.75, enter. All right, now I'm going to move this here and here, and up here. Let's push it in, make sure we're in the right spot we are. But then I'm going to back it up a little because i got still a little more work to do. All right. I want to bring in a door handle. And we can change this to this color. And if I'm not mistaken, let's click here and let's go to enter and to enter and here and i'm going to spin it 90 and then i'm going to click here and i'm going to go to enter and then i'm going to use my arrows Put the door handle in a sensible place. I am going to group it. So I want it to stay together. And I'm going to click here, solid and multicolor. Now my door handle's in place at least. Alright, so let's bring this here. And I want to go here, and we made that hole in the door 5, so let's go 4.5 because we don't want this one bigger. Here, and we're going to go 4.5. Enter. All right, and then we're going to come here, 
And what I want to do is I'm going to stretch this out pretty big, right? And I'm going to push it on in. I'm going to bring this up to where I want it in the hole, right? I'm going to go ahead and hold shift and click the body and do an alignment and click center. And then I know I'm dead center. Click here, hold shift, click here. And now I got a hole in the door that I know matches. And I click here. I say that. Watch, well, it's not going to match. I'm going to feel silly. All right. There we go. We can bring this up a tad. There we go. Bring this over a tad. There we go. All right. Now, you have a switchman shanty. And assuming you are in HO scale, you are able to go ahead and print this model as it is. I've made it that way. Now, another thing you can do if you are a different scale, let's say you're in scale, okay? I'm going to make a copy of this real quick. I'm going to duplicate it, and I'll bring one closer. So we're going to say that you are in scale. Let's pretend. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your calculator on your device or whatever. And you are going to say, because we are in HO scale right now, you're going to say 87. Divided by whatever your scale is. If you're going in scale, you're going to say 160. If you're saying Z scale, you're going to go 220. If you're O scale, you're going to go 48. If you're S scale, you're going to go 64. You see what I'm saying? So I'm in scale, so I'm going to say 87 divided by 160 equals. And it tells me 54%. Because 160 is 54% of 87, or 87 is 54% of that. Anyway, use 54. All right, that, whatever answer you get when you divide 87 by your scale is what you put here. So I need 54. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click here, and I'm going to do 54% and type enter. Then I'm going to click here, and I'm going to go 54%, and I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to type here, and I'm going to go 54% enter. Boom. I'm in end scale. All right? Now, as I mentioned, these models will print as they are right but let's say you're wanting to print these where your roof is one color you do this and you drop it because it's flat on the bottom now you print that by itself and then you come in and you just paint the exhaust piece now the body is one color Bring it here. You hit D on the keyboard to drop it down. or It's already dropped, right? So you print that separate in one color. Now you take this. And if you remember, we did 30. Hopefully that's going to be right. 30, enter. Oh, wait. 30 more. So let's say 60, enter. All right. And it might even be 61, but I think that's right. All right, then let's come here, and let's go 60. All right, now, then we bring this here, we flip it 90, and we hit D. We bring this here, we flip it 90. We hit drop. Bring this here. We flip it 90. We hit drop. All right. Here. We can even align these if we're... O A whatever those acronyms are. OCD, ADD, whatever. BAD. All right. Now, what you can do is you print this in dark brown. You print this in tan. You print this in black. Paint this. Or you just print this whole deck like this, right? 
Then you come in and you airbrush or paint this dark brown. Airbrush or paint this dark brown. Tape that up, right? It's already gray. If you're printing gray or white, you're set already. Just tape this up, airbrush that. Airbrush this the color you want. Print it and assemble it, all right? We want to thank you very much for joining us for our Switchman Shanty video today. This is a redo video of a live stream that we already did, and it came out in SD, and we were like, uh-uh, we're not doing that, because this is going to be a long playlist. This is video number two in the playlist, and we want to thank you very much for joining us. If this video was too hard for you, please revert to the playlist link that I'm going to have a, a card on the end screen. Okay, because I had a card already earlier in the video for the, the video that shows you how to do everything you need to know to do this video. So if this was too hard for you, back up one video. This is a playlist. Like I said, this is number two. So go to video number one. Follow it in sequence. If you're watching this later after this has been uploaded a while, there's more videos in this sequence right after this in the playlist. So there's going to be a playlist link below in the description. If you click that, you can follow the whole playlist in sequence learn and you'll have a printable model at the end of every video okay at the end of every video we want to thank you very much again for joining us if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe you want to click the bell icon so you know when i upload these videos I'm going to try to upload one of these every saturday might try to do the barn the gamble barn video in the middle of this week so we can get to our next video which is the trackside signal house and we appreciate you very much thank you for joining us glad to have you with us and we've had fun today we hope you did too